Previously, we talked about interaction design, virtual reality design, and even car system designs. But did you know that vibration design could also be significant and a meaningful dimension of user experience? Both iOS and Android devices are currently equipped with powerful haptic engines that can mimic delicate vibration effects, which can be a critical supplement to our traditional visual and auditory perception of a digital product. In this video, we answer the question of what haptic engines do and how we make the best use of them. Haptic motors are primarily engaged for two purposes, to deliver information and to make a product lifelike through mimicking. Vibration is important when user's attention can't be focused on the graphic interface or there is another interference present that may prevent a user from accessing information from the screen. For instance, phones vibrate during an incoming call or a push notification appear so the users can be quickly alerted even when they can't see or hear the phone. The other purpose is to mimic real-life objects. Haptic perception is a big part of our lives since we all have muscle memory of simple actions like pushing a button or turning a dial. Haptic engines make us feel like we are engaging with real-life objects so we don't feel strange with the interface or the product. When we are designing haptic experiences, make sure that each haptic vibration must match the action on the app or the user might feel disoriented. Also, use the haptic engine when necessary since excess exposure to vibration may lead to user fatigue. Last but not the least, make sure that the haptic response does not stand in the way of other mobile sensors like gyroscope or camera. You don't want the microphone to capture vibration sounds when your users are talking on the phone. I hope this tip was helpful. Don't forget to visit our website at void.com. This is San, you're watching UX Tip at Void. See you in the next video.